Hey, how's it going? It's Lee Halliday, and in this video, it's actually a four-part series, and what we're going to be doing is using a serverless function deployed to the ZeitNow framework to generate a social share image, like the OG image sort of thing. So if you take a URL, like on my website, and pop it into Slack, what you're going to see come up is this dynamically generated image here. Uh, you've probably seen something similar before if you've ever shared an article on the dev.to website. So you share this and it pops up with a, a little OG shareable social image. This is what we're going to be building um, using a serverless function. So let's get started. I've got a project sort of already um, set up with sort of the minimal files needed. And I'll just go over them quickly. So we've got the package.json, nothing too crazy going on here. We've got a few dependencies. We've got the Chrome AWS Lambda along with Puppeteer Core. These are going to be used to sort of spin up a Chrome headless browser that will actually take the image needed to generate this social share image. And then we've got a couple dev dependencies, the types for Puppeteer Core along with TypeScript. Um, along with this package.json, we've got probably the most important file for a, a now serverless function um, project, and that is the now.json file. So the now platform looks for this file to know sort of how to build this serverless function. We've given it a, given it a name, generate OG image. We're on version two. Um, version two is the serverless function platform. Uh, version one was a Docker based one. And then we've got this array of builds. So all serverless functions sort of on the now framework are monorepo, meaning you can have um, a combo of Go functions, PHP functions, Node functions, Next.js websites, among other things. And you can all have them sort of building from this same now.json. We've got one build um, config set up here, which sets the SRC to look at a file um, located in src card.ts. That's what we're going to be building in this first video, sort of the minimum viable serverless function. What are we using to build this? We're using now node as opposed to now go or now PHP. And we've got some configs for our serverless function. So that on its own sort of builds it, but we need to set up some routing so that when you visit the URL that's generated, uh, how does it know which file to sort of send that request to? So we've got one route in here, which is when you visit og.jpg, it's going to send that request to this card.ts file that we're going to build right now. I've already set up an empty file. And with any serverless function, you have to export a single default handler function, which is basically in charge of receiving the request processing it, and then sending back a response to whoever requested it. So we will export a default async function, which we'll call handler. So this handler receives two things, the request and the response that we're going to use to send something back to whoever requested it. Okay, so what are these two variables? Well, the request, and we're just going to import a couple types from HTTP. The request is something called the incoming message. And the response is the server response. So if we take this and add the types, so the request is incoming message, the response is server response. We'll now have types for this. Okay, so what do we want to do with this request and response? In this first video, we're actually not going to use the request at all. We're only going to deal with the response. We're sort of going to hard code some stuff that in videos two, three, and four, we're going to um, make dynamic. So we're going to wrap this whole thing in a try catch. If an error is produced, we want to be able to capture it and send a response back. So let's just deal with this uh, sort of error case first. So if there's an error, we've caught it, and we're going to say the response status code is going to be 500, which means an internal server error. And we'll set some headers. So set header. So the content type of this response is going to be text HTML. 
and then we'll call the end function of the response. This is used to actually sort of finish the response and send back whatever uh, content you send to this end. So what we're going to do is basically just do some HTML. So this is an internal error. And we'll just say, sorry, an error occurred. Like that. And for our own use, we can console.log or console.error, since it's an error, um, the E so we can see what's going on. Now that we've dealt with the negative, let's focus on the positive. All right, so we also want to set the status code to 200 of this response. And we're going to use the same content type header. So we'll just paste this in. And we're also going to end the response. But instead of just hard coding the HTML right here, we'll use a variable called HTML, which we haven't created yet. But we'll go do that right now. So we'll say const HTML is equal to and in here, this is sort of going to be the HTML that generates this look and feel. So to start with, I've got it in here so that I don't have to type all this out for the video. And this is sort of a full HTML page from doc type all the way down to the closing HTML tag. Uh, I've got some just a background yellow style in here, which will later paste in some styles to make it look good. And I've got some hard coded content, which is the, the title, um, author image, author name, and the website that it's on. So these are all the pieces that end up building this social image right here. In video two, we're going to look at how can we grab these parameters from the request URL to make them dynamic. But first things first, let's just get this um, rendering to the screen and then deploying. And then in other videos, we'll focus on making it dynamic, taking the actual image, etc. So we go to the console and we type now dev. So for this, you're going to need the now CLI already installed. And you'll probably need to have set up a free Zite Now account. Uh, it's free, so just set that up. It, it only takes a few seconds. So when we type now dev and we visit this URL, we're actually just seeing an index of what's available. And the reason it's showing that, us that is because if you remember back to this now.json, we set up a route where when you visit slash og.jpg, it will route the request to this card.ts file. So we'll actually visit that instead. And if everything works correctly, what we'll see is that sort of hard-coded HTML that I put in there. Yeah, that's, that's a piece of art, I'm telling you. All right, so we've got our beautiful yellow background. This, uh, this image, I forget why, but it's called uh, Llamas and Haircuts, Llama Justin Bieber. So you got to love that. Justin Bieber, it's Canadian, so am I, so that's why we're repping. But llamas are also pretty sweet. So we've got this generating. It's looking awesome. We're ready to go. Let's push this up to GitHub so that we can have it deploy to the Zite Now framework. And that's our first deployed serverless function on the Zite Now platform. So to do that, we'll just uh, cancel this request. It's not even a Git repository yet, so we'll in it. We'll add everything. Oh boy. Oh, ring. Nope. Let's leave all this in. All right, so I'm gonna actually just. Oh boy. Let's remove everything. What we're missing is the git ignore file. That's why it was starting to add a million things. Okay, git ignore. We want node modules and dist, I believe. And I think the rest is good. And it's also missing one other file, which is the now ignore file. And in now ignore, we can put the same one. So node modules and dist and maybe like the license. We don't really need to deploy that up. 
Um, you could probably put the readme in here too, but let's just go with that for now. So back here, get in it, get, let's just see what we're doing first. Uh, okay. Looks good. Initial commit. Okay, so now we need to, somewhere to push this to. So I'm just gonna go to my Git, and I've already sort of got this started. We're gonna call it generate OG image. So we'll create that, and then we'll copy these two commands to push our code up to GitHub. And when that's done, our code should be on GitHub, and we'll hop over to the now dashboard. Now, I've already set up this account, it's just a free one, and I've done the GitHub integration, so I've given it access to read um, my Git repos. And by having the now.json in the Git repository, it's actually detected right away that that's meant to be a now project. So you can see that it's starting to build out this deploy. Now it only takes about, well, I guess like 20 seconds, but you can already see that it's got a little green thing here meaning that it's ready to go. So if I visit uh, this URL and then go to og.jpg, we should see this same beautiful Justin Bieber llama uh, background yellow serverless function. So you could call it a day and you could have all of your blog posts render this and uh, everyone would be happy. Uh, just kidding. So next video, we're going to be able to add on Things like the title, so making title dynamic, and we're going to be able to pass in the author, the image to render, the website, and we're going to make it look good. And just so you know where we're going, in videos three, we're going to be writing all this HTML to a temporary file. And in video four, we're going to be rendering that temporary file with a Chrome headless browser, which will allow us to take a snapshot of this HTML and then we'll respond with not text HTML, but with the actual JPEG that we've captured. And then at the end of the day, we will have a dynamic um, OG image that will be embedded inside of all the posts that we share from our website. And if you're interested, if you actually go to my website and look at the source, just refresh this. Oops, so if I find OG image, you can see that in my HTML, I've got this OG image. And in here, we'll just grab this big long URL, paste it in here. So this is the URL. Uh, it's got some issues with these ampersands. Whatever. Okay, well, if I fixed it, what did I not fix? Just the, the image, so let's do that quickly. Dun, 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 dun. This makes for beautiful video. Oh boy. Talk about the longest URL in the world. Okay. There we go. Now we got my image popping in. So this is what is being used to generate the image. Uh, you can tweak this. So Lee on its own regenerates like this. We could change the title um, to tagged, could be not tagged, whatever. There we go. And if you pare down the browser size, you'll see that this is what is being used. Okay, so that's it for this video. On to the next one where we will be making the hard-coded yellow one that we built dynamic. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon. Bye.